Up for review today is a programmable LED mini fan from DX.com. Multiple messages as well as graphic images can be displayed with a number of nifty special effects. Equipped with a flexible metal gooseneck, it's powered by your laptop or desktop's Type-A USB port and programmed via a micro USB port in the fan's rotating hub. Now the fan comes packaged in a clear vacuum formed sleeve with a paper back. Included in the package is the fan itself, a Type-A USB to micro USB cable, and a mini CD-ROM containing the software to create and upload messages and images to the fan. My fan arrived from China in a standard padded bubble wrap envelope and survived the 16-day voyage to Ohio with no damage. The fan is a little over 34 centimeters in length, with a USB connector on one end and a fan assembly with two soft vinyl blades on the other end of a 23 centimeter metal flexible gooseneck. The egg-shaped fan is roughly 35 millimeters in diameter, 60 millimeters long, including the hemispherical propeller cap that contains the image display circuitry. Now the two fan blades measure about 100 millimeters tip to tip and are roughly 30 millimeters across at their widest point. One of the two soft clear vinyl blades has an 8 millimeter wide flexible circuit board with 11 blue 0402 SMD LEDs sandwiched between the two layers of vinyl. The micro USB socket used for programming is tucked beneath the fan blade opposite the blade with the LEDs and the 5 millimeter thick flexible gooseneck is nice and rigid, bends easily and stays bent in the shape it's bent into without springing back or slowly straightening. Overall the build quality of the fan is fairly high. The fan assembly and USB type A connector seem firmly attached to the gooseneck without any looseness or rotation. Now the 80 millimeter micro USB programming cable is of quality consistent with what you'd expect for a product at this price point. Nothing spectacular and a little on the short side, but it gets the job done. Windows recognizes the fan itself as an HID USB device and doesn't require any driver installation to use. I initially had some problems with Windows XP failing to recognize the fan after five or six connection and disconnection cycles of the programming cable and rebooting the computer was the only way I could restore connectivity but I realized that the issue is related to unplugging the USB cable from the fan too soon after uploading data to the fan. Waiting a few seconds after the upload completes before unplugging the cable resolved the issue and I had no further problems. Messages can be displayed in either 7-bit or 11-bit columns. 7-bit messages have a maximum size of 120 columns, which is 105 bytes per message, and 11-bit messages are limited to 160 columns, which is 220 bytes per message. The fan has about 1,320 bytes of RAM for message storage, which translates to 6 full-width 11-bit messages, or 12 full-width 7-bit messages. The message format must be selected before upload. The fan can't mix the two in a single upload. The fan has a variety of message sequence options, including displaying the message left to right and right to left, top to bottom, bottom to top, a blink mode, and a static always on mode. Separate sequences can be set for the message opening, middle, and close of the displayed message. Now the included software on the CD-ROM is Windows only, but does run without any setup. Now I chose to copy the 8 mega files to a local folder on my computer's hard drive for easier access, but it can be run directly from the CD if you choose. Since the software doesn't require any installation, it's just a matter of double clicking the icon, starting the program. It brings up a nice, simple, reasonably easy to use software panel where you can define custom messages to be displayed either by using the built-in font that comes with the software for displaying messages or you can switch it over to use the system font and use any one of the built-in fonts in the system that you have installed on the computer. Now I have discovered that it tends to uh, provide a better quality image with a simpler font as compared to some of these complex ones that just don't display well in 11 vertical pixels. I have some already in, that I have created previously. This is the one that will show in the demo here in a minute. You can define the opening sequence, middle sequence, and closing sequence for each one of the messages. 
in addition to text it can also display graphic images as well if you click this little icon next to each image it'll open a little pixelated version of the message it'll let you customize on a pixel by pixel basis what's being displayed so even the text messages that may be displayed can be edited that same way once they're typed in so for example if I just type in a message like hello world I can then click this and it'll show it to me and it works even better of course when you spell world correctly now transferring the messages to the fan is just a simply a matter of plugging the fan in let me get one of these others preloaded back in here plug the cable into the into the fan up here indicates that there's a connection made I can click upload and it uploads the messages and images to the fan you can even preview what it's going to look like ahead of time by clicking the preview button including any sequences that are installed so it will start rotating clockwise here in a second now one of the things that I don't like about the software is it won't tell you ahead of time when you've exceeded the memory capacity of the fan for uploaded messages so if I load some extra text in here and then attempt to upload it then it gives you the message indicating you've exceeded the capacity of the fan for the messages it'd be nice if it told you when you're approaching that limit or it gave you a memory counter somewhere to show you when you were getting near the limit that's really all there is to the software it's pretty simple and basic it allows you to load and save messages both in 11 and 7 pixel formats if you use the 7 pixel format you can get a few more messages in there but you lose some vertical resolution and I'm not sure that it's really worth the trade-off the fan is a fun toy for your home or office. It moves an acceptable volume of air to keep you cool while it displays entertaining messages and or images. It's easily bent into a shape that directs air where you want it, and the LEDs are bright enough to be seen even in a brightly lit room or outdoors. I question if the flexible gooseneck will loosen over time or no longer stay bent into the shape that you bend it. And I don't know if the messages are stored in the fan via an EEPROM or if an internal battery is used. Now if it's an EEPROM, the fan should be able to continue to accept and store messages uploaded for years. But if it's a battery that's used to store the images, the fan may no longer function once that battery loses its charge. Overall, it's a great toy, reasonably well made and easy to use, and well worth the price.